Hello and welcome to Endless Mode. I'm Captain Emoji. I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And we're checking out the demo for Octopath Traveler. Uh, a game that I think has been pretty hotly anticipated as like old school RPGs go. It looks beautiful. Uh, yeah, you've actually taken a, a brief look at this before, haven't you? Yeah, I, I played through Soldier Man's story. It's your classic Soldier Man story of Soldier Man betrayal and revenge. Right. You were saying that like... At least, so it is in the beginning. Right. At, at least his origin point starts out like a lot of... Like a lot of Former cliches. soldiers that were done bad by. Funny how it works, isn't it? You were voice acting. Everything that happens in this world falls into one... You were talking about the, uh... Category. The duel mechanic, though? You could, like, challenge anybody into a, to a duel? And things one oh, yeah. Like, you could just beat up random everything. people. Honor duels against, like, the shopkeeper man or whatever. I thought that was kind of neat. Have only done as my convictions um, but I guess this is the the other path they gave us for the demo. The path of the dancer? I yeah, Primrose. Primrose. Apparently, he's found some uh, crazy Illuminati stuff, so... I was going to say, we're definitely starting out in some kind of, like, you know, Blackfire Club or... Uh, uh -oh. Eyes wide shut sort of situation or something, some kind of underground, you know, secret society type thing. Lots of hooded figures. And they didn't like uh, him finding about out about them. Apparently. Huh. I will never forget. Nah, I'd imagine that's pretty well burned into your memory. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I will say I'm very curious to see how all of these end up tying together. I don't expect to find that out in, like, a demo, but... Uh, they might not. I mean, there's an old game on the PlayStation that had a similar premise called Saga Frontier, where you had, like, six playable characters, and they're all doing their own things. They could occasionally join each other, but... Uh, so their paths interacted, but not necessarily in some grand overarching thing? Right, right. Okay. Well, I'll be curious to see what happens. Hmm. Uh, like I said, I think that's outside the purview of a demo, well, but, sure. uh, uh, I seem to remember you talking about that game and it was kind of unfinished. Oh, it's dramatically unfinished. Like, one I mean, of the stories just stops. Like, I mean, I've always heard about it and it sounds real interesting, but, uh, it's always been mentioned that it was, uh, one of those things where it was publisher perish. They had to... Get it out the door at some point. Off minutes before my cue. Yeah, well, you learn to sleep so anywhere when you're. Uh... Master's favorite. <laughs> hmm. I guess you try and catch a, a wink of sleep here and there between the nightmares. Like seriously, that's some PTSD stuff. It doesn't change the what? fact that you're just another dancer in the sands, Primrose. Nothing what have we stumbled into? Woman. I don't know, but I want to point out that they're all mad that you're just another person. She gets a name. Everyone yeah. else is like, this type of dancer. <laughs> well, except for question marks in the back there. Okay, so we're part of a harem. Well, maybe. Dance troupe? Probably... Now, Probably indentured, just, you know, given the medieval looking society. Plus all the yelling. Plus all the yelling. Alright, Scrooge. I was gonna say, Helg Helganish is not winning any anythings. You Let me stab this guy later, right? Or fleece him for all of his worth, maybe, I don't know. Custom has increased tenfold since you stepped on our stage. But do not go for getting yourself. I mm. don't really want to stab this guy. Ever grateful for that, Master. Like I said, I, I, I can imagine it going a couple different ways. None of them good for him, and I'm, I'm okay with that. Becoming more okay with it by the moment. <laughs> Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter so much when they're not her jewels, my dude. 
Yeah. I made you the most sought-after dancer in this dusty old town. It was me. Oh, me. I will say the voice acting adds an extra layer to things. Yeah. Uh, ah, it's definitely ramping up the skew factor. It, it is. Yeah, like, it, it, it adds... It adds tone. Yeah. Like, you know, I mean, you could read the text and you know it's bad, but... Uh, it, it, it does add some extra characterization. And for localization purposes, I mean, they're little masses of pixels. They didn't yeah. have to do any, like, lip syncing or anything. You just had to get the, uh, the intent across when you translate it. Wow. What's the rating on this game? <laughs> you know, I don't remember seeing one. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's online, but I, I haven't looked into it. Yes, master. We played another uh, Sque uh, Squeenix published title demo thingy uh, recently, uh, Lost Sphere, and uh, I gotta say, both demos threw a lot at you at the beginning, but this one's throwing a lot of exposition and characterization, whereas the other one threw a lot of like go here, wander around, do thing, press button. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like... It threw all the mechanics at you without explaining what, where, or why. Right, whereas this one's throwing a lot of characterization at you, but I don't know any mechanics yet. Ah, there you are. Like, so far we know what button advances dialogue, and how to move. And that's because you've played a game before. Yeah. Like, because this one's supposed to have clever mechanics, like... Like, the uh, the soldier guy had the duelist mechanic. Oh, there. And I would presume that Primrose has some unique mechanic of her own. But that isn't what they've presented us with so far. What they've presented us with is, like, a, a story. And I think we were saying before, I think one thing that helps with, the, with, the, with this one over the other one is that I feel like the other one threw us in the middle and, like, that we were in, like, chapter four or something. Yeah. Whereas, yeah. I mean, this one literally started with her as a little girl and showed us, <laughs> you know, how her life got flipped tied upside down and she ended up here. I am ready. I mean, we didn't get a full, you know, biography of how we got here, but I think we got some of the high and low points. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I know her motivation. At least one of them, like a core one. Oh wow, so even the even the dancing thing is not just not just a way to get by, but a way to like get information and to like seek out This is a revenge story. Yeah, okay. I mean, I can... I'm, I'm down for a revenge story. <laughs> yeah. But no, I just... Like, I, I know what's going on here in the broad strokes. And now it's about seeing, like, the journey there. No, I, I, can, I can get behind that. Again, hopefully they get to flesh all the stories out and they don't... You know... They don't rush it to market without finishing someone's arc. Oh, yes. yeah. No, that would be like, the worst. As long as everything is done... Uh, that happened quite a bit in Saga of the Frontier. There was a bard character mm -hmm. who started off with the worst stats, the Kivat being that as your human characters do things, they gain stats according to what they do. But he didn't have a story so much as he had an introduction, uh, all of the side stories in the mission, and then the final boss. Oh man, so it's like how I play a Bethesda game. Yes. Right, only it's on like, purpose. <laughs> yeah, only only that's literally all there is. Instead of, like, instead of actively, actively ignoring a main quest line, it was, hey, look at all this stuff in the world I can do, and then, oh yeah, big finale, big finish. Dragons! <clears throat> oh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh, come now. <laughs> I want to be like that gal. No, you don't. I do find it funny that she did a little pose. 
It's like, I see you looking back. <laughs> uh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. Are you all right? Oh, jerks. Yeah. Yes. I was going to say, literally. Oh, oh! Question marks has a name! Yusufa. Uh. Stop that! Hey! Making, there a valid, you go. making a valid point there. Lady Many Marks. Things. Somebody's somebody's reasonable there. It's like no, this is a bad situation, but we shouldn't be like a bunch of crabs in a bucket. Also, yeah, earlier they were like, "Oh, your master's favorite." That's not a good title to have in some ways, right? curious exactly how we got here though like did she go into debt chasing them down or did they uh did those hooded men like sell her into this life and now she's you know using it to try and get back i think she heard one of them passes through here so now she's uh i, I saw that but uh, he, he mentioned a debt though too yeah. Like, is that part of a carefully constructed backstory to explain why she's here taking this torment? I think it's an abusive employer thing. But no, just, it's it's very interesting, yeah. and I actually want to know more about it. Like, I think it's cool. <laughs> yes. Even laughs gross. Kudos to the voice acting. Yeah, no, really good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Are you all right? So. Not to get all tropey, but I totally see that character getting into some kind of trouble to advance plot. Oh, yeah. The the plucky good character who, you They know, are absolutely going to be kidnapped slash murdered. Or something, yeah. Alright, next time on Endless Mode, we'll, uh... See what else this town has to offer in the dead of night. And interact some of, with some of the mechanics, probably, right? Oh, yeah. Alright, cool. Well, hopefully uh, you like and subscribe. Catch you later.